So now you see that with the river point 2.0, so this is actually the future provider. It doesn't look like future provider, but it is because over here you're having this future, okay? And at the same time, if you go ahead and look at the code, this one, uh, this is the new generated provider for us, okay? So as you can see over here, this is future provider. And it also said it's also auto disposed. Okay, so this is a future provider. So when to use future provider, if you have this network request, and it returns data where you have to await, after awaiting, you have to get the data and dissect it and convert it to an object so this thing requires the time so in this case you have to use future and whatever the data type you return you have to mention for this future type itself we are returning course type so yes when you return future provider you can also return custom object and this is what we have done over here so this is a custom object right now this is more like a ref, widget ref, but this is auto-generated by Riverpod. And it needs this because you may want to access other provider inside this future provider. So that's why this is given. Okay, like for example, we can try to access like this ref.watch, say home course list provider. If you want, in fact, you can, okay? So this is where, once again, future provider or any kind of provider, if you have the ref object, then you can access other providers inside your current provider. Now with 2.0, it's possible because you can always inject a ref object inside the parameter, okay? So which gives you whole lot of access to other providers and not only that you can also inject extra parameters this looks like native to Riverpod, but yes you can inject as a parameter a lot of other things and you may want to do it inside this curly braces so for this is the way to do there could be other ways as possible i think required and index and why we need that it's not always necessary but what if you have a dependency that this provider depends on something else some not a, some other providers some other class or some other object you can also provide it over here as you can see okay so without it it looks like this i mean so whenever you are having it like this it means that actually you are not going to depend on any other provide any other object or third party dependencies or any dependencies but here when you put it like this you are saying that you have a dependency in our case the dependency is just uh, we need an int variable it could be remember any custom object or any custom class okay all right so this is our dependency why we need this because over here we're going to put our in index could just now it was hard coded but we want to actually pass it so what's going to happen we're going to grab this course detail controller now i know we have an error uh, let me fix the error first most really we have to run this one first uh, let me close this and run again okay right and this time wow it, it changed a lot and you'll see that it became more complex because this time it's dealing with a dependency so this is our dependency now we don't need to look at this one that's fine so it starts pretty much from here course detail controller family now earlier we had this uh, future provider now right now future provider more like became a family provider 
because here we are injecting object with the family provider actually you can pass object well we'll also see the a family provider soon and we'll also see the comparison uh, one by one with this anyway so whenever you inject something in your method then it could it becomes a family provider because family provider that takes parameters okay yes so that's what we did over here or any kind of dependencies and we see that the newly generated code became a family provider it started pretty much from here it, it extended the family class already all right and if you go down over here of course it's already tagged family all right and here it also said that okay i have a dependency all right so that's what it so it could be null but here whatever it is you can get the dependencies beautiful